Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how we can create a multiple virtual machine by the script. So here we have to understand how the virtual machine build happen on the vCenter through the PowerShell script. So here we are using CSV file as a as the input file and based on that input we are going to create a multiple virtual machine on the vCenter. Okay, so here uh, let me show you the Excel file because here we are importing we are using the variable as a dollar vm and then we are using the import hyphen csv command and this uh, excel file we are importing here let me show you the path e drive and then vm list okay so once you create a series file you have to make sure that all the column name will have the uh, value in it and based on that input your PowerShell script will create a virtual machine. So now we have a column here like a name, template, cluster, data store. In the template, we will give the template name that is present on the vCenter and we will use it for the virtual machine. So according to the VM, you can give the template name here. If you uh, like, I have only the one template, so I have given one. But if you want to create a multiple virtual machine with the multiple template, uh, so based on that you can give the template name here now here in the cluster you have to give the cluster name what you want to use for your virtual machine so currently I have only one cluster so I'm using that on both place but uh, according to your uh, vCenter you can use the cluster name wisely here in the data store you have to give the data store name where you want to deploy the virtual machine and based on each virtual machine input it will deploy the virtual machine in that data store now for the vm1 i can give lun01 and for vm2 i can give lun02 but uh, i don't have a space in the other drive so i'm giving the one customization uh, again the same uh, vcenter have the customization file to modify the virtual machine after deployment so we are going to use that here so i have created a windows customization file that will help me to uh, join the machine into the domain and renaming the virtual machine, assigning the IP address. So everything will be taken care of with this. I will show you the Windows customization file. So uh, maybe if it is not working for you, then uh, you can just refer mine. okay this is the file okay name windows registration swapnil and swapnil info tech computer name uh, use the virtual machine name then windows license uh, this is the test deployment so nothing here administrative password for the local machine i have given that time zone uh, you can use yours command to run once i don't have anything as of now in the network manually select uh, it is given but uh, when we are running the script it will automatically get modified for each virtual machine okay but you can use this or you can just keep the standard also no problem here i have said that it should uh, the virtual machine after deployment it should join to the domain and i have given the domain administrator name uh, you can give the account name which have the administrator access on the server here uh, the you can see all the settings and you can just click OK. Okay, so we are going to use this customization file for our virtual machine. Now here, virtual CPU and the virtual memory, you have to give the count. So I have given here 4, 2, then memory 2 GB, 2 GB. So all the size in GB. Okay, then network. Here you can give the VLAN detail for each machine and it will be automatically selected after deployment. Location, here you have to give the folder name in which folder that virtual machine should be deployed. So I have one folder Mumbai, so I'm using that. Here IP address, subnet mask, default gateway. These all three settings you have to give. Uh, uh, if the IP address you are giving as a static, then here the primary and secondary DNS and the disk size should be 50 GB that I have given, but you can give it according to your need. Okay, so this is the file we have. And we are going to deploy the two virtual machine by the script. So let's come to the script. Now here what we are going to do like after importing the CSV file, we have to map each column to the variable. Okay, so let me again open the uh, this file. 
okay and let me show you like how we have mapped each column to the variables okay now we have to understand one thing here that we have created a variable as a dollar vm okay for importing the csv file so whatever the data is there it is there in the uh, variable dollar vm okay and now here we are running for each vm in vm so for each entry in the vm we are uh, giving the variable name from that file okay so assigning variable as per the csv file so here we are creating the dollar vm name as a variable and we are taking that from this dollar vm as a variable dot name so whichever entry is there in the dollar vm so it will look for the name value like name column and it will automatically assign the variable to that variable okay value to the variable now here we have a template okay so in the v center we have to uh, give the command like get hyphen template then hyphen name so what is the name name is a dollar vm dot template so this name should match with this character okay then only it will get mapped okay so don't make a mistake on this part because whatever the data you are giving here that should match with this and uh, then only it will map the uh, all the variables properly and it will uh, execute during the power shift okay so you can see here whatever the uh, column we have given here it is accurately mapped here to this variable okay so we have created a cluster data store custom like customization then cpu memory so all the detail you will map according to the csv file so if you create any more uh, variable if you want to create more like uh, you want to add the secondary hard drive right to the virtual machine so how will you do it so uh, to do that you have to uh, create a new vari variable and again you have to add here a new column like new std or extra std std1 something like that and you have to match that with this one like dollar vm dot and then the column name and then it will automatically get mapped so whenever you will execute that uh, that command in a script so automatically it will add the new hard drive while creating the virtual machine okay but currently we are not adding that okay so uh, let me close this file okay now here uh, what we are doing assigning network detail to the custom template okay so uh, whatever the uh, custom template you have given right os customization uh, name that will get modified here what the value we have here okay so what we have given is the ip subnet mask default gateway and then dns as the primary and the secondary so that all the details will get mapped in the customization file okay now that custom customization file will be used to deploy the virtual machine okay so deploying the virtual machine command is the new hyphen vm hyphen name so what is the name vm name and vm name is coming from this thing okay so if i have a 10 entry so whenever i run the command it will take first entry during first run second entry during the second run so automatically this variable value will be changed when it is looking for each row in the csv file okay then template resource pool get cluster then cluster name get resource pool hyphen location like location is a folder name then storage format if you want uh, thick then you can mention thick here but i want to deploy in a thin format so i'm using thin then hyphen data store you can give the data store name like you have already given in the csv file but it will take the variable from here then customization as a custom because we are creating the custom specs here to use that for each virtual machine correct so once the virtual machine will build it will automatically uh, set the CPU memory and the network VLAN and additional LTD to VM if there are any and then automatically uh, it will uh, once the deployment is done it will automatically uh, like uh, rename like the get the virtual machine name then it will set the memory set the CPU and confirmation false means it will not ask you for the confirmation it will by default set that during the script then here we are using the uh, network adapter set network adapter like we are here setting the VLAN okay because the template will deploy with the default network adapter uh, sorry different uh, default vlan and then uh, once the build is done 
we are assigning the proper VLAN that we have given in the CSV file. Okay. Now here we will start our virtual machine and then customization process will continue. Okay. So now we will run the script and we'll see how the two virtual machine will get created. Okay. So let me go to the VM here. Okay. Currently, uh, there is a only one that, uh, that is the vCenter here. Okay. And uh, only the one virtual machine that is our vCenter itself. Okay. And if I run the script, okay one moment we just forgot here to <laughs> connect the v center okay so connect hyphen vi server and then the hyphen server then a site no not at boom hyphen vc01 dot com okay and fine if i run the script Okay, the connection has been established and now it is creating the virtual machine. Clone virtual machine percentage 39. And we can see here the cloning process has been started and 39% whatever it is showing here. Okay, we can see here uh, it have started the customization on this virtual machine and another virtual machine is still being copied. So it will take time. Okay, you can see here. The task. Okay, we'll wait for some time. So let it get completed. Okay, here also same. So we'll wait for uh, some time and then again we will check on this. So finally, our virtual machines are built and they are ready to use. And here we will open the console and we will uh, log into it. So we can see whether the uh, domain joint is happened properly or not on both the machines. So this is how we can see the virtual machine configuration has been done according to the file that we had given. The IP address has been set. So if you want to use this script, you can use for yourself. And if you have any query, you can let me know in the comment box. I'll try to answer that. Thank you for watching the video.